according to the International Agency for Research on Cancer, 14 million new cancer cases and a total of 8 million cancer deaths have been reported worldwide in 2012. P53 is a master regulatory protein that participates in cellular processes such as apoptosis, DNA repair, and cell cycle control. The importance of the tumor suppressor activity of wild type P53 is so great that it has been referred to as the guardian of the genome. Missense mutations in the P53 gene resulting in amino acid substitutions in P53 play a role in the pathogenesis and prognosis of more than 50% of malignant tumors. In our opinion paper in Trends in Biochemical Sciences, we discuss the evidence for prion-like and aggregation properties of P53, which appear to explain, at the molecular level, loss of function, dominance negative, and gain of function of effects in tumor pathogenesis. There is strong proof for the intracellular aggregation of mutant P53 in tumors. The possibility that this prion-like conversion is further transmitted to other cells through the aggregates is an open question. The prion concept was developed by Stanley Prusiner in the 1980s to explain the nature of the etiologic agent of transmissible spongiform encephalopathies. According to Prusiner, a misfolded isoform promotes the conformational change of a native protein into a misfolded one in the absence of a coding DNA. Recent developments in this field suggest that other protein misfolding diseases such as amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, Huntington's, Parkinson's, and Alzheimer's diseases might also be due to prion-like isoforms. The different causative proteins of these diseases could induce the misfolding of their native counterparts in cells, tissues, and animal models. Amyloid aggregates of mutant P53 have been detected in breast cancer tissues and malignant skin tumors. Mutant P53 may exert a dominant negative regulatory effect on wild type P53, in which amyloid-like mutant P53 converts the wild type form into an aggregated species, resulting in the complete loss of its tumor suppressor function. Thus, hotspot mutations can make P53 prion-like. The prion-like behavior of mutant P53 is supported by experiments showing that a seed of the mutated protein in the aggregated state accelerates the aggregation of the wild type form. Mutant P53 aggregates not only induce the aggregation of wild type P3, but also the aggregation of the paralogous P63 and P73. In addition, there is evidence that aggregation may occur in the presence of the chaperone HSP70 and acetyltransferase P300. In support for a prion behavior of mutant P53, it was recently demonstrated an in vitro transmissibility of P53. The authors found that wild type P53 aggregates could penetrate human cells in culture via macropenocytosis and induce the aggregation of intracellular P53. According to our proposed prion hypothesis of the dominant negative and gain of function effects in mutant P53, the aggregates induce toxic effects in some cells which results in the release of aggregates to the extracellular environment. Aggregates can thereby be transmitted to contiguous cells, which would take up these oligomers, resulting in mortalization in some cells and toxic effects in others. Well, in conclusion, it seems that the mechanism in which corrupted proteins initiate a sequence of reactions that leads to aggregation, which is typical of prions, is involved not only in neurodegenerative disease, but also in tumors bearing P53 mutations. A prion-like seeding mechanism would provide a mechanistic explanation for both the dominant negative and gain of function effects of P53 mutations. The inhibition of the cell proliferation due to the dominant negative and gain of function effects of the prion-like behavior of mutant P53 appears to be a novel and important therapeutic target.